Oh, that's a chappy I'm looking for, this one. Now, there's nothing new in fishing, or so they say. And you know what? I've been doing it long enough to know it's probably true. A lot of people, fishermen before us, have been catching fish long before we even thought of catching them. They've devised all manner of means of trying to catch them, and also how to collect their bait. Now, one way you can collect your bait is with what's called a small fish or minnow trap. Over here in the UK, it's called a minnow trap. But the actual funnel technique was used thousands of years ago using reeds and bamboo stems in a cone shape. The important thing is the cone shape for the entrance because fish can't come back out. You think I'm joking? It's in books. I've got 600 odd books in my library here. Yes, some of them are very old and I'm going to show you one that's got exactly what I'm talking about in here. Right then, here we go. Just to show you the fish traps were invented many years ago. Here's an old book. This was Begin Fishing with Uncle Bill. Well, let me tell you, Uncle Bill was no mug. There is minnows, a small bait fish trap made out of a wine bottle. And they put bread in there, cork in there, and knock the hole out the bottle. Okay, so that shows you that's the old trap. And it's the same cone effect coming in here as they make with a weaved or woven uh, bamboo or whatever they use, sticks, you know, a fish trap from thousands of years ago. Now here is an even older book from the Badminton Library of Chombly, H. Chombly Panel or Panel. Now, here is a book, look at this one. Still got the little greaseproof sheet there covering these, I guess like etchings. Beautiful, fantastic. 1889, if you can see that. 1889, and the panel also comes from, I believe the panel hook. I think that's where it came from, two hooks. But look here, my goodness me, a folding minnow trap. So there you go, 1898. But I can do better than that, folks. I can do better than 1898 from my own library. Look at the adverts in this one. I mean, I love looking at all these old adverts. Two pence, two pence, look at it. The Modern Angler by the Otter. And here we go. There is the classic minnow trap, but it's got a jar. It looks like a preserved jar to me, with a cap on the end, probably a, a cork one. I would imagine there were cork then, and glass tied to a string for a support. You put your bait inside, and it's got another additional sort of bait in the current there, which I, it's like a, a teaser or a lure or something. Maybe it's a load of worms in there, threaded. I think that one might be even older, and it's a load of worms that's threaded in there, if you can see that. The fish enter through there, and look at some of these old lures there. I mean, I just love looking at them, and even better, even better, 1898. So these old books show you a lot of information that, in fact, they were catching fish in minnow traps years and years and years ago. So while a lot of us don't read a lot of books now, we are missing out on things, because there's information in here even down to, look, a patented Alfred Clifford's patent eel trap. So, back then, in 1898, they were well into trapping, and we're going to be into trapping as well. Let's get out of the garage. I'm going to show you how to make your own fish trap from bottles. Having established that fact that catching fish for traps was something from years ago, Victorian, Edwardian, Georgian, it goes way back further than that. They knew about trapping fish, obviously, from making the wicker tunnels, and it's the same principle, that cone-shaped principle that the fish can go in and can't come out. Now, one of the early ways of doing it was with a bottle. That's right, a glass bottle. Now, much easier to use just a clear plastic lemonade bottle. Now, some people say, I like the clear bottle, that the water sort of, you know, the fish can't see through it. They can see it, of course they can see it. Others say I actually like the, the wine bottle effect. I'm sure they like the wine. The wine bottle effect is green and it blends in with the bottom. Sort of makes sense. Now for wine, to let it settle, as I understand it, the sediment, they put this little bulbous bit in the bottom there. So what you do is, the wife's um, thrown the cup away on this one, but what you can do is put a piece of tape over. This is the way I do it. Do not put them in a vise to tap that bottom out. Don't waste your time trying to drill them. You want to, to tap it out. I use a centre punch, but what I'm going to do, because I want something that sort of cushions it, so I'm going to push it into the soil. Now, if I push it into the soil, and I get my centre punch here, 
and I just tap the hole in there so the fish can go in there. The glass is going to go through there, the broken glass, come out the end and be in the, in the grass or earth that I put it in. So I don't want that, so I just put a piece of tape over there or indeed screw the cap on. Now this was a particularly fine Merlot, Cabernet, Sauvignon. That makes, makes me sound really French. It makes me sound so sexy. I can make it sound better actually. I need more of a nasal attachment like this. And here you have the bottle that you can use. It is a Merlot. Cabernet Sauvignon. That sounds even better. Makes me sound more French. <laughs> Ow! So there we are. I'm going to take this out, put it in the earth, pop the hole in there, and they're going to show you how to do it with a plastic bottle. Let's get this one outside. Now just gently push that bottle into the soil, get your centre punch, and gently tap away. I made a start on this one a little bit earlier and take away the edges a little bit. You don't want to take the whole of the cone out because obviously you want the fish to be able to get in but not get out. And then as you can see you've got the hole there for them to get in and the broken glass because the um, masking tape, you know the gaffer tape's on the end that stops all the glass coming out. Take it back in, somewhere safe, you get the glass out then as you can see it doesn't go into your garden. All you do then is throw that in the bin, safe, out the way, watch your fingers get some more duct tape. Where would we be in the world without duct tape? Duct tape, and who invented it? Who invented it? Arthur Duck, Arthur Duck, did he invent it? So I just do this, you can use what you want. You could even use black, I suppose, if you wanted to be uh, a little bit secretive and camouflage. Tape it over like that, and that is really, all that remains to be done is bait, some, bait, some, bait up some bread inside, tie a weight to it, a bit of fishing line to pull it back out, and you're ready to go. Well, that's a wine bottle already done, and of course, I need help to get rid of the contents and my wife volunteered immediately. So we both disposed of the contents in order to push forward the boundaries of filming. You understand? That's why we did this, just to get the empty bottle. Didn't enjoy it at all. Okay, same shape. It's very slight depression in the bo bottom, but not enough really. So what I'm going to do is get rid of any uh, rubbish off the outside packaging just peel that off so it is nice and clear and then all I'm going to do is cut just here just cut here it's a standard way of making a fish trap don't skew your hands please go ahead and get through once you get that first little nip that, that first scissors I'm through run around the edge nice and straight like this because we're going to turn it just cut that neatly it inside out. Now that's clever. Obviously with a stopper off. So the fish are going to go in through this cone end into here and they'll be, they'll be in this back chamber where the bread and the bait is but they can't get back out because they're sort of kind of dumb aren't they? They could get back out if they were intelligent enough to realise that's the hole that they came through and they've got to come up and go back through it. Luckily for us they're fairly dumb but they don't realise it. To make this one all you do turn it inside and just push that right inside there. I'm going to push it so I get it nice and neat. That's all it is. Get in there. Now, that is the same principle as the wine bottle with that depression in there, which is, as I understand, to catch a sediment in wine. Never drain the last pieces out of which drinking wine. Apparently, that's where you get the bits and pieces of sediment. So they tell me. Nobody told my wife. It's drained. It all goes down. There we go. So that one's already, you don't need to tape it, it's, it's jammed in on the ridges. I'm going to put a piece of fishing line around there. I'm going to obviously put, sprinkle some bread in there. A piece of fishing line, I'm going to put a weight there. Because so I'm going to put this as a bit of, little bit of movement of the water. This will be a glass one, that will fill up under its own weight. But always put, if you're putting in a slightly deeper water, just a little piece of fishing line. And you can put it, peg it on the grass with a stick, come back and pick it up later. Okay, let's get these in the water, get them baited, get them set. Let's get trapping. Well, there we go guys I've got one that I weighted with the stone and inside there if you can see those there's some small fish let's tip them out it shows you that it does work you can just see the fish in there minnows these are called for guys that are looking I'm afraid I've dragged them up so they're, they're just barely alive but it shows you you can catch let's get that leaf out of the way there you go minnows one fat one two small ones Make good live baits, good dead baits, and if you get bigger ones, you can eat them. 
shows you the system works. And there's the bottle.